Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the CCM SuperTax AS3 Pro Skate Snapshot Review. But before that, if you're looking for beer league jerseys, make sure you check out the link on the right and in the description. Uh, I have a video going over the different jersey materials, which might be helpful what jerseys to pick. For a limited time, you get 20% 20, 20 off a team socks if you purchase a set a team set of jerseys through the links in my description and on my website. Also, I do get a kickback of a sale of a team set of jerseys, which helps support the channel and support me so I can continue doing reviews. So first of all, this is not a review. This is a snapshot review. I'm just going over some things I thought were interesting on this skate and I thought it was worth talking about. Um, so I not gonna, haven't used these and I wanna be very clear about that. Also, right now, I think right, these basically just came out uh, or they've been out for a few weeks, but most stores are basically getting stock now. CCM's running a promo where you get Step Steel, which Step Steel, it's the only reason these are here. Um, Step Steel on their top end skate. So it's like the AS3 Pro, uh, FT2, I think FT490 and I think 80K. Um, might be some others, but what it is anyway. So you get Step Steel, a free upgrade of Step Steel instead of their XS1 Black. Um, so I'm gonna talk about that really quick. I absolutely hate CCM stock steel like this. So this one isn't that used and you can see the burrs kind of on the side of it. These were from my AS1 skates. Um, and I switched these out pretty quickly to this. These are bionic. The reason I did so is from my experience with CCM steel is it's that's pretty low quality. Um, I would have to basically by skating two times a week on my player skates, I would have to get these sharpened once every other week so every two weeks and that was a lot um i've since gone to ls5s on my trues which are right here so the ls5 carbon and it still has that like the, the coating is coming off on it because it's not as good as the step black um but i went from sharpening like i said these once every about two weeks about twice on twice on the ice to the ls5s were once every month, once every two months. Um, I really, I've only sharpened them like once or twice since I had them. So it's, it's a big, big difference. I know, sorry, I was really quickly on the, the SB Blacks. I need to, I got to lose my edge and everything like that. And I found that they didn't glide that well. LS5s had much better glide on really bad ice surfaces. And then the super polished Bionic was much better as well. And these were about the same where every month or two, two months I need to get these sharpened. So my experience with CCM stock steel has been very poor. I'm not a fan of it and I would always swap it out. Um, so that is nice that they're including step steel. I had uh, AS1s, um, AS3 Pros, obviously are their upgraded version. So a few of the things I'm going to talk about, what I think are interesting, um, kind of what I want to call out. So you have the holder, but I talked about that in the FT2. I also reviewed the holder before, so I'm not gonna go over that. This is CCM's first ever skate that is a carbon composite. So Composite generally is a form of plastic with different materials in it. Um, curve composite was like that forever for Bauer. And now Curve has cur or Bauer has curved carbon or carbon curve or something. Um, CCM is doing that now with their super tax where the whole, the whole skate and wrap is a carbon composite, which is a nice change. Evidently this one wasn't. If you look on for the AS3, not the AS3 Pro, um, it says that it's an NHL level composite, which is basically what the skate was. Uh, the stiffness on this has increased. CCM now has a stiffness gauge in their catalog. I haven't skated on these, so I can't talk about it. Uh, I find skating is the best way to figure out how stiff skates actually feel, especially once you actually wear them a bit. So the other thing that is nice about that though is because it is a full wrap of composite at the bottom of the boot, um, and you can kind of see it wrap all the way around now where this one, kind of ended in this black paint. I don't know if this this weave wrapped all the way through or what, um, but I can tell you, I don't think this will happen anymore. So I had an issue with my CCM AS1s where they would split on the side. So you can see that there's a seam basically right here and the skate split and you can kind of peel it off. I'll try to get a better view of this um, and I'll really kind of pull that off and get a better view. It's not just the paint layer either. It's a, kind of like the outer shell layer and it goes all the way through. Like the seam is at the bottom here. Um, and you can like see a nick out of it here. 
I don't, I feel like these ones feel much stiffer like that. It doesn't feel like that's the exact same outer layer. So I'm curious to see if these will hold up better in terms of that. I do want to say I'm going by personal experience when I talk about qual like products or first or sorry, secondhand accounts based on people who I kind of trust and, and hear from. Um, so generally that's not people online. It's people that I, I know personally. I had poor experience with CCM in terms of this. So this skate split on what is supposed to be a one piece boot, but clearly there's a seam right there. And I mean, it's still a one piece boot, but there's a seam on the outer. And as you can see the split, I sent pictures of this off to CCM and I showed them and I said, Hey, like this is splitting apart. Is there anything to do? It was out of warranty and I totally call told them that it was out of warranty. Um, so I understand that it, if they did nothing with that said, I do take really good care of my skates and these skates do look absolutely immaculate. So I was hoping that had something to do with it. It didn't. Um, CCM's response was I've never seen that before and something weird must have happened. I've, we've never seen that issue before. Once I talked to them about it, I started asking people and I was talking about my experience of this. And I, within two weeks, I had five people come up to me and say, um, I've had the same thing. So like they said, they, it split basically the same area and you could see the seam and they pointed it out without me showing them where mine split. So them saying to me that they've never seen it before and all of them contacted CCM and CCM said, like we they didn't do anything. Again, that's my first hand account and second hand account. And I just want to be very clear about that. These were out of warranty, so that's fine. My problem was CCM just saying, oh, never seen that before, not an issue. And then kind of ignoring it. If they just said that's out of warranty, we can't cover it, that's fine. But I don't like how they kind of said, we haven't seen that before. And then there's other cases where they said they contact CCM. Now I understand there's a big chain of stuff there in terms of like customer service and everything like that. So maybe something didn't get past there, but I would have thought something would have been passed up higher and something would have done, but I was pretty disappointed at that. Like I've never seen that happen to escape before. Um, but yeah, I never had issues with my FT ones. I didn't have my FT twos long enough to develop any issues. Um, cause I moved on cause they didn't really fit me as well as these did. So I moved on from them, but I want to just call it out because I think this, the way this design is much better. Cause you can see like there's no real seams there anymore for that. So that shouldn't happen again. Um, so I want to call it out, but I also want to speak of my experiences on the AS ones because they are my experiences. The, the nice thing I really like what they did here is they basically beefed up the, um, comfort edge. So the comfort edge is now just like the FT two was, and I'm a huge fan of that because it is much more comfortable. Um, this stiff, these skates are very stiff and this comfort edge, while it wasn't bad and it was definitely better than what the FT one was it still was pretty like hard compared to the FT2 and these ones. So I like what they did on the new comfort edge. It feels much nicer in that regard. Um, I also like what they've done kind of on this whole tendon guard and stuff. You have your uh, composite or your fiber, carbon fiber in there, just the same material as the skate itself. They did that on the FT2 as well. I like that. And the other thing I like is what they've done with the liners. So the liner on this is, like it feels massively, massively upgraded. The new one is the total dry pro plus the old one is the total dry pro. Um, just the materials on this feel like a little softer. I love the detailing and I'm going to probably fall into, I think the detailing looks so good that I might be falling into a trap of it's just looks. So it feels nice all the way through. It feels like a better quality than the total dry was. I'm not sure if that's the case or if mine are just older and by quality, I mean, it feels like kind of a less abrasive material, which means it might not be as grippy, but, um, I haven't, I've never, I mean, these skates wrap pretty good anyway, so they generally should fit pretty well. I love the details they now have on this abrasion, like resistance up here. Um, it's just a really nice interior and I got to give them props because the topographical maps, which I think those are look really nice on the inside too. And they have their CCM coordinates. Just really well done skate presentations. Awesome. Um, I was really I, critical about this logo in the past. I think it's too big, but it, once you actually get to see them, it doesn't look that bad. Very golden vibes and not just yellow anymore. The old ones were just yellow going to a more golden look, which is kind of Supreme. I'm going to say, but it, it looks really nice. Again, that logo is massive, but it, it doesn't actually look that massive once you get them in your hands. Um, so I got to 
I, I really like the look of this skate, so I gotta give him props there. And the feel of it, everything feels really well done. Everything looks really well done. So huge props there. The reason why I wanted to grab these skates for a video on is because of their new tongue system. Uh, so their tongue, my old tongue is a pretty standard one on the AS1. So it has a guard right here for the top of your foot. There's a specific word, I think it's metatarsal, I can't remember. Um, so it's stiffer there and then it's kind of just a felt tongue everywhere else. It works fine for me, it, nothing special. You can see the wear stuff at the side, but again, it's fine. No wear on the skates because of that wear, air, like abrasion resistant area. So perfect in that sense. The reason I want to talk about these is because of this new attachment system for the tongue itself. Um, so this right here, this is CCM's adding it now to their skates so you can swap out different tongues. So this one, it, it's called their XS tongue. Um, so this one is the stock tongue on the AS3. They have three, I think, custom tongues. They have two of them have D3O in it. One's really slim. I like this idea. This is, I think, pretty smart. True, you could Velcro, take the Velcro off uh, and swap out the tongues. This is a great idea. I'm a huge fan of this. So you can do this with the laces installed. Um, it's just a little trickier and harder to get on video. But this also does allow me to really show the inside of the skate really well. So I don't mind that. So how do you install the tongue? Basically this flap, you put it under the laces and you put this little flap uh, above the top here. There's this little piece right here that kind of sticks out and you kind of have to shove it between these two pieces here. So if you fold that up, it's actually easier. And then you get that in there and then you, the, these little pieces stick out under the tongue put your hand under there to push them up so they're, they're in place and then you snap this down and this worked easier last time snap one and snap two and then they're snapped in place and they're good to go and there's your tongue so pretty easily replaceable um, pretty interesting design again I'm a fan of it so the interesting thing to me about this tongue is that you can kind of see how it sits flat here and it just goes past the first eyelet. Um, I could feel this when I put my foot in and I could feel at the very top of my foot and it wasn't very comfortable. I'm assuming that this is going to break in or like going to bend a little bit in terms of breaking in so this doesn't bother you when skating. I have a hard time believing CCM put this on here without testing it enough where players eventually like that goes away. But from what I've heard um, is everyone when they put the or 90% of the people when they put this on can feel this right away and think it's uncomfortable. I was one of those people. So it's weird because it doesn't come any further than the AS1s did. Um, so you can see it's basically the same like coming out. This one does look a little further. With that said, this one is softer, right? So this one is a, like a plastic sticking out where this one does bend a little bit more. And what I found was when you do bend the skate upwards, this part can move. So this isn't a hard like material. This part moves when you flex it, but then when you do it with this skate, that part doesn't move at all right here because it is a plastic attached to it. So you, like that part to me, and you can see it kind of right here, that part is the part that digs into your foot. Um, so that's not, wasn't super comfortable for me. With that said, I have kind of tall, I have a tall instep here. And I've had issues with depth on a ton of skates. So me having like a bigger foot right here probably doesn't help that a lot. But also, like I said, nine out of 10 people so far have said that they felt it and it was uncomfortable. Um, the one person who hasn't has bought in these skates. So they like them enough to purchase them. Um, but that is my experience with that. Just trying it on really quickly. Obviously, I haven't used it. So I can't comment on if it breaks down or if you notice it when skating. I can only comment on how it felt when I put it on. So finally, I think the last piece of the skate that I want to go over is their new footbed. Um, so CCM is no longer including the OrthoMove custom arch support footbeds, which had Velcroable piece on here to give you more arch support or less, so it was adjustable. This came in my AS1s. They don't have that anymore. So now they're doing OrthoLite, Ultralight, insoles. Um, so this is an eco thing they advertise. So I'm assuming it's made with recycled materials. The difference between these two insoles is pretty considerable. Um, this one is basically a competitor to Superfeet and you can tell just the design and how it's supposed to be a competitor. It's pretty substantial where this one is very 
unsubstantial. It's a soft foam. I'll give them that. It's a very soft foam there, um, but very, it's basically a rivet cover. Um, I, I'm a bit disappointed because, well, okay, here's Superfeet just as a comparison. You can see the yellow, why they went with yellow. Um, and you can see that this is, Superfeet is one of the biggest aftermarket insoles, if not the biggest aftermarket insole for hockey skates. So I get what they're doing here. But CCM also used to include these Curex um, custom support, which I find are super, super comfortable. And I currently wear these in my true goalie skates. Um, so they used to include these as well, which I thought were pretty nice and much more substantial than what these ortho lights are. Again, this probably works fine. Uh, if you don't have like any issues with your feet in terms of you needing like the arch support or if your feet don't um, supinate or pronate and don't collapse that much these are probably fine probably will be as comfortable like they're the foam it's like i said it's a soft foam so probably pretty comfortable for you there i'm just a bit disappointed that they didn't include this and basically this because that's what was done in the past they would basically have an insole like this which was just a rivet cover basically and then they would have something more substantial like this or like this in there as well so I'm a bit disappointed in that. I mean, they did raise the price on their skates. They're no longer $1,000 Canadian. They've bumped the price up. Everyone bumped the price up though. So it wasn't just like CCMs in it. But I'm just a bit disappointed you don't get something a little bit better than this in the like in with the skate. Disappointing in my eyes. But yeah. Um, so I guess that's about it for this video. Again, not using it. Just going over the differences. Um, and I, I like that tongue design. So I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, usually I don't do, like I generally try not to do reviews I'm not interested in, but these have interesting things on them. So I wanted to talk about it and that was specifically that tongue and that's pretty unique. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I do small little snippets and comparison photos, stuff I got on there that you won't find on here. And if you ever do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please just out to your manufacturer to let them know. Helps me get on their radar so I can get gear and hopefully like, actually use these instead of just talking about like this video thank you very much for watching and take it easy